Hey, thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Today, we're going to talk about this 6 liter turbo. This thing had a PO299, it's an Econoline van, and it had an underboost code. So when I was driving it, I'm actuating the, I'm watching the VGT, and the VGT goes from 15 to 85. But what I found is anytime that it goes and sticks at 15 or sticks at 85, that the turbo is sticking internally. Uh, it should not stay at 15. It shouldn't even go to 15 or 85. Uh, and so every time I've found this, took the turbo apart, found the unison ring stuck. So today I'm going to talk about how to take this turbo apart. I'm going to show you how to take it apart and how to check it. Let's go. All right, so the first thing that you got to do is you got to take off. Thank you. Got to take off this heat shield. All right, so you got three eight millimeter bolts right here for this heat shield. All right, I'm gonna take those off. Never really had a problem with these. Usually come right off. Uh, I'm just gonna put that there. All right, next thing I do is, is I like to I like to mark. I like to mark the turbo and the clamp uh, just to make sure that it goes back the way it's supposed to so the so the clamp goes in the right spot okay so not everybody has these I have this socket right here it's a snap-on socket and it is for these Marmon clamps I have a set of four on my Instagram I shared a story where it showed the set of four uh, I like to use these You're going to take the nut all the way off. Take the nut all the way off. So that way you can open this clamp all the way up. And if you put the, the stud like that, it holds the clamp open. All right, so the next, the next step is going to be hitting it with a hammer. You're gonna want to kind of just hold it up. Just kind of separating it. Just be careful what you're hitting. All right. So there we go. Actually came apart pretty easy for how bad it was stuck. So this ring right here is really, really stuck. All right, trusty pocket screwdriver. So with the pocket screwdriver, I can't even move this ring at all. It won't even move, it won't budge. It won't slide. It won't even lift up. It is completely stuck on there. Uh, so the one thing is that right here, this is where the VGT sticks through. And you got this solenoid here. And this actuates this lever here. And this lever moves this unison ring side to side. Which then operates these fins. And they open and close the turbo to allow for maximum boost or low boost. So these fins are usually okay. Never really had a problem with these too much. Um, just make sure you put them on the right way. So I usually usually have this problem and, and what I'll recommend is, to, is pulling the turbo off, taking it apart, taking this ring off, and then, uh, and then usually I clean everything clean it all up, get all the soot off, um, check the turbines, make sure they're okay. And then I just put a bunch of anti-seize all over it, put the ring on. I just recently found out that they make an updated unison ring uh, of a different material. Um, one of my old bosses told me that. So we're going to um, see if we can find that for this turbo. 
And so basically, after that, so we have the turbo apart. Okay, you're gonna get a screwdriver under here. Now this is important that, see I can't even, this thing won't even budge. Like it is completely stuck on there. So I can't even, I can't even get this thing off so you could imagine how this unison ring is not turning with this actuation here. That's why it's getting stuck. Um, this one would actually sit at 15 for a while. And then all of a sudden it would just break free and hit 24, 26, 37, and it would actually move. Um, and then it would do the same thing at 85. It would get stuck at 85 and, uh, and it wouldn't, it would just sit there at 85. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, it would just start to move. Um, so this is what the unison ring looks like before you take it off or after you take it off. Here's the back side. Actually, this, this unison ring is, is uh, bad. You can actually see right here um, where it was wearing on the inner race, on the inner edge of the turbo. I actually, yeah, you can see the, you can see that real, real shiny metal. Um, I actually never seen that. It, usually it's all black and all sooted up. Uh, so then the other thing that you wanna do is, uh, well, first you wanna make sure you have a rag under this thing because it's gonna spew oil. So that's the feed right there. There's the drain. Uh, but you wanna make sure you have a rag because this is gonna spew oil. So then you wanna take this and you wanna turn it and make sure that it can turn. So once you get the oil out of it, it's really hard to turn at first, but then once the oil comes out, see all the oil? Once the oil comes out, then it usually, actually this one's sticking. This one's actually getting stuck. This thing might need a turbo. Yeah, look at that, it's sticking bad. Uh, usually these things move pretty good. It's sticking all the way at one end and the other. Uh, you can see it's really pitted. So let me know your thoughts on whether you clean these or whether you recommend replacing them. Uh, damn, that one is really, really sticking. Uh, I think I think this one's gonna. I think this one's gonna get a new one. Because even with that ring off, even with the ring off, I could barely move this thing from the beginning to the end. This thing should be a real smooth move all the way from beginning to end. There shouldn't be any any roughness. It shouldn't stick. Because if that thing sticks, then it's not gonna move. So normally what you would do is you would take this apart, you're gonna clean this. So you're just gonna take a wire brush. Usually use a wire brush to snap on, take a Harbor Freight, doesn't matter. And you're kind of just, you're just gonna do that and get all the, get all the soot off. Now, one important thing to mention on this is this location tab right here. Okay, when you took the turbo off, this, lines up right there long time ago when i first started working on diesel somebody told me not to take the turbo apart uh because you could not put the unison ring on right and mess it up i never knew what they were talking about um the first couple i just replaced because i was told not to take them apart uh, then i took one apart and uh, i'm not real sure what they were talking about because there's really nothing to it it's actually pretty simple i'm usually when i do egr coolers oil coolers we'll usually do them in a pair but usually when i do the egr and the oil cooler on these things um, I usually recommend, since the turbo's off, I usually recommend pulling the turbo apart and cleaning it um, while it's off and while it's apart. Uh, usually get like an hour or so. I think I recommend an hour and a half. I'm done one in, in a little bit. These things seem to come in in, uh, in flocks. You got a bunch of them and then you don't get one for a while. Uh, So once you get that all cleaned up, I'm gonna clean it better than that. And then you'll notice that when you put your unison ring on, when it's all cleaned up, it actually should turn 
on here fairly easy. So you're gonna put it on there and you're gonna turn it and make sure the actuator turns and all that. But what I do is on these, take this, you're gonna clean this up. I'm not gonna clean this up because I need to show my show the customer and I'm gonna recommend a new one. But anyways, you're gonna clean this up. You're gonna clean all these fins. Then you're gonna put any C's. You're gonna clean all this up, take all the fins off, get all the soot off. You're gonna put any C's all in here. I put any C's all on the bottom. Then I put the fins on, I put any C's on top. Put the unison ring on here and spin it back and forth, back and forth, get the anti-seize going. And, uh, and then I put anti-seize on the top of the unison ring and then put it together and uh, usually works pretty good. But like I said, on this one, um, we have a problem. So this one's not gonna go back together unless the customer opts out of replacing it. This thing started off as just needing a, a turbo cleaning and then it turned into an EGR cooler leaking also. So uh, not sure where this one's gonna go, but anyways, this is how you take apart a turbo on a six liter take it apart inspect it clean it put it back together save yourself a lot of money just by doing that these things aren't cheap so well hope hope you learned something about uh about a turbo on a six liter and uh thanks for tuning in to nuts and bolts with tone hit the like button if you like this video hit the subscribe button and if you hit the bell, you'll get notified of all my future videos. And check me out on Instagram at Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.